welcome back to the Zack and Buzz review. review. Okay, so we are reviewing another NECA Godzilla. Not another one. We love Even NECA Godzilla. More Monster Madness. I know it's crazy. We love Godzilla. We love NECA. <laughs> And there we are. Okay. Da, 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 da. So this is Godzilla 2014. The big reveal. He's not in there. He's not in there because we had to put the tail on. Yes. Here he is. <laughs> Boom. Godzilla 2014. The 12 inch head to tail Godzilla. Yeah, he's got a much finer tail on him. Yeah, yeah it's kind of very whippy. Whippy. Whipping, weaponized tail. Again, it's, it's very close to the actual Godzilla in the film, which I love. And to be honest, it's nice having all of these lined up on a shelf, kind of from yeah. the 1954 one really to the 1980s one to 2014. He's got a really small head. Yeah. I backdrop. think, actually, they have updated this design slightly. He's got a tongue in there. There's a tongue. Because this is another one of these re-releases in these lovely collector's boxes, whereas originally they came in those kind of blister packs that didn't quite look that good. Yeah. But this, I mean, damn. Again... Ballpark knocks out of the articulation on the Naked Godzillas all round are amazing. Yeah, he's got another diorama in there. City, oh, cityscape. Head, neck, jaw. God, I, 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 I did my it. Finger in there. I did it. You could do it. Oh, yeah. you he has kind of got the smallest head out of these. He's got hasn't a he? tiny, tiny head. It's, and Tail. It's, I've got to say, out of the Godzillas, this is my the one I. I don't dislike the Godzilla, I mm. dislike his feet. Just the feet. The Just feet. The feet. Well, why don't you like the feet, Buzz? Because they're stupidly small. Oh, I, I think uh, the idea is he's supposed to be kind of like elephantine yeah, to kind of support need, the weight. He needs the big, he's big. It doesn't feel very like good for swimming, those yeah, feet. Yeah, it's like really uh, dingy. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I, when I first saw this yeah. Godzilla mm. at the cinema, yeah. And you're getting little flashes, aren't you? Mm. And there's a fight with a mut muto a muto muto, <laughs> muto. at muto. the airport. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a review of a muton at some point. <laughs> uh, anyway, so he's having a fight at the airport, and it's kind of happening on the television in the background. Yeah, it's very very um, kind of see all these people, teasery. You see all these people in, in the air airport waiting, and then this, this big foot comes past the window and puts it, and it's like, what? It's a little stubby elephant. Foot. I see what you mean. I see you know, what you, you mean. Godzilla's got a big claw. I've big come. Feet. I've come to like the movie. No, and no, 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 and no, I love no, the movie. No, but I, I do love. It's God's... It's just one little nitpick yeah. in all of it. Really. Yeah, he's got little feet. But awesome. in the later ones, King of Monsters and got subsequently Godzilla versus Gong okay. and Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire, they okay. have updated the feet. Yeah, and I, he looks I, awesome. I, I, the feet he have does. got better. So the feet have got better. However, uh, yes. So the modern Godzilla. Interesting fact. Yep does not come with a beam effect. No beam effect. Whereas on the previous ones we reviewed, they all come with, with beam, effects, beam effect. Which is really interesting. Okay, so I don't know quite why it didn't. Well, okay, so if it's just the figure like this, yeah. uh, is there anything we can show with this figure? Uh, I mean, we could do a cross comparison with the other Godzillas we've got that we previously reviewed, or, mm, or we could cross comparison it with other Necker Godzilla figures. I think that sounds good, don't you? I think we do. And maybe another Come Godzilla. On then. Put me out of my... Exactly yeah. the same Godzilla. Godzilla 2014. It's another Necker figure. Da, 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 da. This okay. is a sneaky preview. Okay. Whoa! Boom. So you thought this was cool. How about one that's double the size? This is the 24 inch head to tail Necker that's Godzilla. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at the size component. Just getting him on screen there. Like, yeah. there I mean, go. you've put the little guy in front. That could do. Okay. We'll put him, I'll put him a bit, bit more over your way. Put him over and your way. And it's really interesting to kind of cross comparison these. We're going to do, do a full review on this one, aren't we? But I think. We're it's, just doing a size comparison. We're, we're going to do a, one little thing. <laughs> I had to do that. I had oh. to do that. Oh, that's, that, that's movie sound effects. I know, I know. And Can I do that? Is that this one? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the one sound effect. Yeah, I love the, I love the It's end. the one sound effect, but I love it. Okay, we're going to review this. Okay, we're going to review that. Okay. But do you think it ends there? Do you think it ends there with the cross comparisons? I don't know, because there's kind of a bit of an empty space there's just an empty, here. An empty space. You thought he was cool. You thought he was big. But is he? Is he? Is Have he? we got something else? We've got something else. Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> How about that then for a piece of where, cake? Where, where's the end of his tail? It's over there. It's, uh, okay, <laughs> so this is the Jack's Pacific 42 inch Godzilla 2014. Cop a load of that. Jeez. 
<laughs> oh, again, man. we're going to do a review on this, aren't we? Again, Jake? review, cross comparison. Yeah. It's so all it's stuff to look forward just to. Just here for a size. Size comparison. Anyway, take him away. Don't spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> get... <laughs> spoilers, right? Is it? There. Bring, bring, bring back the one. Number twenty fourteen. The little oh. one. The little guy. The little guy. Oh, I feel like it's kind of like. Oh. Oh, we can do a little cross comparison <laughs> with the other ones. Okay. I'll bring bring in, bring in nineteen sixty four or. Here we go. The fifty four. Boom. There we go. Okay, he's, can he's still quite small. Sixty four and. 54. He's kind of got the most... Is that right? Yeah. yeah. 54, 64, 2014. Yeah. Look at the heads. That's what I mean. It's a dinky head. Yeah, I get what you mean. Look at I the feet. What you mean. Look at the feet. Mm. <laughs> get it on the back. To be maybe. honest, I am glad to have him as part of the collection. He's a no, figure. No, He's honestly, a Godzilla figure. I, I love all the Godzilla figures. I love the movies. They're great yeah. fun. I mean, yeah. you can't get enough Godzilla. No, you can't. And to be honest, I need more shelf space. Yeah, yeah. So, of these three NECA Godzillas, what do you think... Is your kind of your go-to preferred one? Out of these ones, uh, do you know what? I really like this one. Fifty-four. No, Fifty-four. Fifty-four. I love it's the, classic. Uh, yeah, classic. I love the mouth. Fun fact, actually, about that specific um, Godzilla figure is they actually released a poster version, which is more coloured and it kind of. Do you remember that poster you got me for Christmas a few yes. years ago? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's very green and very kind green. of has the pink spot. Pink so even the original, no, nothing new, guys. Even the original Godzilla had pink spines uh, on not, the poster. Let's not have any of that complaining about the spink spines. The pink 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 spines. Spine. 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 I have no idea what a spink spine. But there we are. Necker Godzilla 2014. Okay, I'm still. I love this away. figure. I love this figure. He's not the best Necker Godzilla figure, but he's certainly in the mix. Oh, no, and I'm glad to have him on the I'm show. I'm sure he's the best for, for, for certain individuals. Of course he is. Of yeah, course he is. He is. But anyway. Okay then. So how much do you think I paid for this? Oh, well, considering what you pay for the others, mm -hmm. I'm still getting around that £40 mark. Interesting, because... Ooh, controversy. I got this a good long while ago, and I don't think I paid as much. Really? I think I got it for... I think a safe bet is around the kind of £30 mark. I thought for £10 Do cheaper. you think that's because he's not maybe as popular as the originals, collectible? He's collectible certainly ones? easier to acquire. So maybe that ones. reflects the slightly cheaper And he doesn't come with a beam effect, but I'm very glad I got him with the box. Yeah, he got the box, and uh, I'm just going into the box. Oh, the inner packaging is missing out of the box. The yeah. Other, the, yeah, yeah, the inner packaging with the other ones. But still, even that, I've seen these go for like 60, 100 quid or something stupid. <laughs> stupid, so but it's that a, is an absolute bargain. A must-have in the collection. Hell yeah. If you enjoyed this review, please let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And comment below any suggestions of further reviews you'd like to see in the future. Total Monster Madness! Godzilla, Kaiju, whatever you want, we will review it within certain Bingo. legal things. Anyway, <laughs> parameters. See Enjoy. you in the next one! <laughs>